Hello everybody, welcome to part 25 of Let's Play Final Fantasy 16 Blind. So if I look slightly red, um, it's because I'm slightly sunburnt, so just thought I'd preface that. So there are side quests that we've got to pick up, so let's do them. That well-notched steel and impressive physique. I have need of a sword for hire, and yours looks to be a weapon well worth the coin. Might you be convinced to offer me the use of those formidable arms? He likes my arms. How exactly do you intend to use them? Well, being something of a scholar of Zemeckian history, I wish to investigate the ruins near the city. And I require a rugged companion, lest I find myself waylaid by Ned. God, I really look red on stream. <laughs> oh. Should you accept, you will not only earn yourself material wealth, but partake of the true treasure that awaits us there. The rich and storied history of Zemeckis. Well, will you... Yes. My arms are yours. Wonderful. But where are we... Along the old Zemeckis road. Quickly, there is not a... I am starting to skip this because it's starting to get on my nerves. Um, I am reading them, by the way. I'm actually reading them. I'm not just sticking them. Um, but, you know, this whole... Hi, how are you? I'm great. Are you sure you're great? Yeah, but how great on a scale from 1 to 10 are you? 5. Oh, really? Are you sure it's not a 6? It's starting to get me really, really annoyed now, the way that there's so much padding in this game. So I will do the side quest, but... I see you've been of some assistance to Eloise. Perhaps you can extend me the same kindness? Perhaps. What would I be doing? Finding someone. You see, I've been having trouble with... I was griping about my lot to a friend of mine a few days back, and now Joseph's a sellsword, and a good one at that. <sighs> Any idea where his search for the thieves... The old Zemeckis Road? Perhaps Joseph's lived a hard life. Made him grey long before his time. I can't imagine there are too many grey-haired sellswords around. Okay. Obviously, I won't do this for main story, but, you know... Um, side quests, I think, um, they're just starting to get a little bit long. And also, I'm actually really looking forward to reviewing this game, um, very much so. Because there are things about this game that I really, really enjoy, but there are things that I really, really hate. Um, and it's typical Yoshida, which annoys me, because you'd think he would have learned from his MMO, but... Um, right. I want to know right away. Bad news. Good, actually. Something worth celebrating for a change. Only trouble is, the serving girl's still new to the job, so I can't leave her while I go and invite those I'd like to celebrate with. What exactly are you celebrating? If you don't mind me asking. I've come by a particularly fine bottle of red. A Gotan 66, no less. The Gotan Rouge is the only good thing to have ever come out of the Empire. And well, so I've heard. Oh. So you... A gentleman who might simp... Would you pass the good news to a few friends of mine? Okay. Sounds simple. So you'll do it. You won't need to go far. All three of them should be right. Is Aldrich the porter? Three of the finest fellows. Stop by. I'll be right. Oh, okay. So just chatting there. Okie doke. Wait, no, that's the. Uh, we can chat here. In fact, well, let's do those two first. Oh, he's right there. Okay, that's fine. We'll need to come back anyway. Caravan stops next to the checkpoint. Blue. Are you Milan? That's me. The innkeeper's just had a spec. He thought you might like to join him for a cup. <laughs> One in hand comes, we get money. No, I'm not. I'm really not interested anymore. I'm sorry. <laughs> I really just want to carry on with the main story. Like this yak, yak, yak. I can tell straight away if a quest is actually quite interesting. Um, but I'm looking for Bolek. Well, you found him. The innkeeper sent me. He's just. I've never said no to. He must be a bit the market. Oh. Plenty try to slip past us, not when they do. You know what? It's fine, he just needs to go and celebrate. I get it. He's found this lovely wine that no one gives a shit about. Um, 
<laughs> Let's get these quests over and done with. Like, if it, if a quest sort of looks enticing and it looks like it's got an interesting storyline, then yeah, I'll, I'll hear it out. But honestly, I would say probably a good half the quests aren't worth my time. But I'm only doing them for the sake of uh, achievements. That's me, right enough. You can keep it sent me. If we it, yeah, it's fine. I don't need any of this. Run. Right. The innkeeper might spare a cup of that wine. I'm even considering doing side quests off stream. Um, <sighs> if our new arrivals had brought... I spoke to your friend. That's fantastic. It's been a while in the way I see it. Oh, so. Well, I wouldn't be serving any. Then there's Milan. Those three other. And without the market, <laughs> everyone needs. Right. I'd Hello, Hazy. Welcome. welcome. I hear you had me carrying a bottle. Of right. Skip. Right. Good. Yeah, I, I kind of got that this side quest was a bit um, a bit on the boring side, so I decided to skip it. I did it, but... Right, so let's do these ones. I think these might be a little bit more interesting, so... Um, let's, and it might involve a bit of fighting. I'm going to turn my fan up a little bit, because you can probably tell that I'm completely sunburnt. Um, lol. Um... And now here you are, maybe think of you. Wow, I was just this Oh, I missed that. Oh, sorry. I missed that last message as I was changing my uh, my fan to better cool my poorly sunburnt skin. I, I went out today and I did touch grass, as people say. Unfortunately, the sun also touched me. Resend. Well, I was just listening to Pascal and they mentioned Hotel Chocolat. Oh, no way! <laughs> That's so cool. I've, well, um, oh, I missed the quest. Why am I not surprised? Um, I went there not too long ago, actually. Oh, it's funny how you remember things like that, because that was a while ago. Um, so did you buy any Hotel Chocolat by, you know, by any chance? What do you want? Just information. Now you mention it. Ah. Which way did he go? I buggered off down the road. Yeah, I went there not too long ago. I think it was like last week or something, just to buy a few chocolates. Um, it's worth the money. I mean, it's nothing, you know, if you buy decent quality at a supermarket, it's still good chocolate. But I think if you want that refined... That refined taste, I think it is Hotel Chocolat, I'm afraid. You'll hand over your coin. Yes. It is indeed delish. How's Doom going? Oops, I need to change my controls. vessels dashed from the very heavens airships we call them with very little thought to what wonders such a word might describe oblige me if you would does anything strike you as peculiar about this but no i don't know it off the menu i don't really um i don't really have time for podcasts i say that as i'm on holiday but um i it's it's something that i need to catch up on like movies as well because my friend keeps saying have you watched this movie and i'm like no because i've been playing and getting sunburnt. Um. Killer specimen. Though we ourselves find fallen ruins to be nigh indestructible, whatever gouged <laughs> the final sin from the rock, 
cleaved clean through the structure you see before you. A tantalizing mystery, no doubt. But merely one of countless enigmas in which... Any games on the horizon, Hazy, that you're looking forward to? Good, sir. Our expedition Other than Doom. Continues, and we still have much to learn. See, this side quest seems somewhat interesting. He's passionate. Let's go. Yeah. Which Resident Evil? Oh yeah, that's a good one to start off with if you're not familiar with Resident if you're not familiar with Resident Evil series. Well we haven't seen. Yes we have. We saw him climbing up the rock, those ones, over there. Maybe he found his thieves. Mum won't let me near them. She said there's goblins. Shush, now. I only told him what you said. I'd listen to your mother if I were you. Um, that's I interesting. Only trying to scare me. I think Resident Evil 2 Remake is probably the best one to start off with. Um, I'm just trying to think. <laughs> Well, if you want a horror, like true horror, may I recommend either Madison or Visage? <laughs> but I'm not afraid of goblins. Yes, I remember you watching me play Visage. That was uh, that was fun. No, I'm sure you did. Did Joseph Steves really lock their stolen wares all the way out here? But if you want something more action-based... Oh, an ancient sword. That's interesting. Oh, it's actually weaker. Lol. Um, but yeah, Resident Evil 2 is better in the sense that it's got more action. Um, whereas... Um, games like Visage and Madison, they're more sort of psychological horror. Yeah, Resident Evil 2 Remake is a great one to start off with. Um, definitely recommend it. I think we found our thieves. It's a great intro to the Resident Evil series. They don't look happy to see me. Um, well, if you want something that truly is scary, then you want to go with Visage or Madison. Um, I think Resident Evil 2 is scary. I think it's a little bit more moderate. Like, it's more on survival rather than, like, actual pure horror. Let's get this over with. Stop! Don't kill him, he's just protecting his home. Joseph? So the boy was right. Not yeah. Your porter friend That's what she friend. said. <laughs> she was worried you might have got yourself killed. Have I been gone that long? It wasn't hard finding the thieves. The but yeah, no, Resident Evil 2 is a good... Um, Resident Evil 2 is a good one to start more complicated with. Than they appear. It's got a good mix of everything. It's got a good mix of survival, horror, action, good story and characters. I would definitely recommend that. I'd all but ruled out bandits before I even left the market. You know what that is? Well, Resident Evil 1 was remade. Um, so the original Resident Evil 1 came out on the PlayStation 1. And then it was remade for the GameCube and it got the HD remaster. So you can still play Resident Evil 1. Um... I would strongly recommend it, but a lot of sort of modern gamers don't like the tank controls of the old Resident Evil, so that might put you off. If you don't mind that sort of gameplay, I would definitely start with Resident Evil 1, um, 100%. Um, but if you want something a bit more modern, then Resident Evil 2 Remake is the best one. I would personally start with Resident Evil 1 Remake. Um, you can get it on current gen consoles, the HD, just because it obviously is the first one and it sets the scene of the whole virus and everything. Um, so that's what I would recommend if you can look past the tank controls. Um, 
But you can still start with Resident Evil 2 Remake, it's fine. Because our thieves had no interest in gold or gems, or anything they couldn't eat for that matter. Add to that the rumours of goblins in the area, and the mystery practically solved itself. I soon found their cosy little homestead, and all the missing food. I launched myself at them, full of righteous fury, but their leader was the only one who moved to meet me. The others, they huddled around that food, ready to die protecting it. They stole because it was that or starvation. I've been there myself, back when times were hard. So you spared them, and earned their trust into the bargain by the look of it. These goblins aren't native to the area. They don't know how to survive such barren lands, so... I've been teaching them. And once they've learned to hunt and forage, they won't be fool enough to risk their necks in Boglad. I'm impressed. I didn't know goblins could be reasoned with. Do me a favor. Let the porter know I'm safe. I'll head back to the market once my work here is done. Oh, and don't mention the goblins. I don't want people coming here brandishing pitchforks. Not now this lot have sworn off thieving. Your secret's safe with me. I appreciate it. Thank you. See, this is a nice side quest. Is there a treasure somewhere, or...? I'd always thought of goblins as mindless savages. But if I'm honest, I like them better than half the men I've served with. Well, there's something seriously wrong with you, then. But yeah, that's a nice side quest. I like that. Takes you to a new area on the map. You know, you learn more about the goblins. Um, that's the sort of quest I like. The previous one about the wine, I didn't quite really get the point of, other than it just being filler. Um, but yeah, Resident Evil 1... Definitely look into that because I think Resident Evil 1 is actually scarier than Resident Evil 2 Remake. Um, right, I need to go down here. Good girl. Fly up, Rosia. Oh. More goblins. No. <laughs> no. After we befriended the previous ones. Ooh. Oh, I'm going to level up soon, actually. would not do that would not do at all not <laughs> okay. when such majesty stretches out before us behold the final sin in all its glory as moss tells us a battle was fought here in ancient times a battle of such ferocity that it tore a great crater in the very land upon which it was waged in reaching for their holy sanctum did man enrage the gods and great was the vengeance that was rained down upon him. Alas, the full truth of the matter is lost to time. Though I live in hope that I might see it discovered. But we must not dwell upon such things. There is more yet to see. Onward, history awaits. Oh God, it's one of those quests. Yep. Even Clive feels the same about Come doing the side quests. Faster. I'm going the right way, yeah. Oh look, he's in trouble again. 
There's an absolute shocker. I know, right? Well, there is one game that's going to completely, uh... Just change the volume a little bit. There is one game that's going to completely eat my life away, and that's Baldur's Gate 3. Um, and Mortal Kombat 1 as well. So I'm very much looking forward to that. Yeah, Baldur's Gate 3 is going to be huge. I'm so much looking forward to it. Um, that's going to come out in September, as well as Mortal Kombat 1. Um, Still in one piece. It would seem so. I've never played once the original more, ones. I am in your debt. And once more, you impress me with your prowess. These were no ordinary foes, but ones we in the field call Echoes. Though Moss, the chronicler, concurs with the legends in attributing the fall of Zemeckis to a wrath wrought upon mankind by the gods, he offers little in the way of explanation. Could the ruins we see before us here, in all their elaborate beauty, perhaps suggest an answer? Could the construction of such miraculous edifices have been considered an encroachment upon the province of the divine? Alas... All is mere speculation. But one day, perhaps, I will learn the truth. Not if you keep running headfirst into trouble. Yeah, that too. You are right, of course. And not only have you glad to help, but... I fear I may have rather overstated the case on that front. You see, even my fellow scholars... And so I came upon the idea of purchasing a companion. That's what this was all about. I am afraid so. Fine. Okay, I'm sort of getting good at skipping bits that aren't really relevant. Um, unfortunately, this game has a lot of speech padding, um, as well as quest padding, where g a good story is usually sort of drowned by excess chatter, um, which is a bit of a shame. And so, uh, here, your reward for humoring my... Yay. Okay, let's give good rewards. I mean, it was a relatively longish quest. We also get this. Reduces up people cool down. Okay. Well, um, that's all the side quests. We do have one to hand in. Joseph's fine. <sighs> he certainly knows his business. A good man to have around that. Thank you for putting my... That, that was about four lines of just saying thank you. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, Hazy, like... There are really good RPGs. Like, for example, Final Fantasy VII Remake was fantastic. Um, unfortunately, this game is quite repetitive. Like, the story is amazing. Like, the story is a 10 out of 10. But unfortunately, it's made by the same guy, Yoshida, who made the MMO. And the same faults that are in MMO are sort of transcribed to this offline game here, which he likes to play things very safe. Um, and he doesn't really believe in difficulty. He doesn't believe in complexity. He doesn't believe in customization. He doesn't believe in sort of character development. He just believes in cinematic story. And that's really it, which is great to captivate you at the beginning. But once all you've got is that, you sort of start questioning, well, couldn't it have been an animated movie and would have just been the same? Um, there's a lot of flash in this game, but I find there's actually very little substance. 
Um, and if you look at all the reviews, they're like, yeah, 10 out of 10, 9 out of 10. But a lot of people in forums and actual real people that play the game and aren't paid. Oh, sorry, did I say that out loud? Um, they all say the same thing. It's like, yeah, it's a very flashy game. It's very cinematic. But it's like, if you remove the story, which is great, if you remove the story, you're just like, okay, the combat's easy. There's no variety. There's no customization. All the equipment and gear doesn't give you unique stats. It takes ages before you even get new skills. And you just think, okay, well, you know, how is this a 10 out of 10 game? Objectively, I don't understand. I don't understand how a professional reviewer who does it for a living and is meant to be impartial could give this game a 10 out of 10. I just don't get it. Um, and that kind of confirms to me that these people are like paid off because there is no way that this game's a 10 out of 10. And I'm going to say it now because I, I haven't, you know, I'm, I'm not going to review it until I finish it. This is not a 10 out of 10 game. No way. No way. Final Fantasy VII Remake is leagues better. Leagues better in almost every field. Maybe story, this is better, but... It's just, to me, I just can't fathom it. Um, right, I think that's pretty much it. I don't think there's any more side quests. Right. You're going to do an apprenticeship or something, then? Yeah, it's... I am kind of not... I think reviews for me are, like, I never really look too much into reviews. I just look at reviews just to get an idea of what the game's like. I don't necessarily, I don't necessarily listen to them, but. It does. There'll be a lot of people that would swear this is a 10 out of 10 game. Um, there are two camps to this sort of situation. You've got the diehard Final Fantasy fans who will say, and try and play some mental gymnastics how this is a 10 out of 10 game. And then you've got sort of the more down-to-earth, realistic Final Fantasy fans who have played Final Fantasy since pretty much its mainstream inception with Final Fantasy VII, like me, who actually objectively looks at it and thinks, okay, great story, that's it. Everything else is all fluff. And it's interesting because, unfortunately, all the professional reviewers... I've sort of gone with that camp of 9 out of 10, 10 out of 10. But I think they're paid anyway. I usually don't say this, but I, I think they've been paid off because there's no way, like I said before, no way that you would give this game a 10 out of 10 because you're saying that this is pretty much a perfect game. But there are RPGs that have a fraction of the budget that are much better than this. Like Tales of Arise, for example, is a budget RPG. So, But that's not a 10 out of 10 game because it has its flaws. So how this can get a 10 out of 10, I don't know. Anyway, let's carry on with the main story. Try not to lose it again. Me pass! You found it! Oh, thank you so much. Nan would have killed me if I'd come back without it. I'll have to say thanks to Ellen, Theo too. So should you, Hanza. You and your friends don't have to steal anymore. If anyone threatens you again, you know who to turn to. We do. And we already have. Miss Ell's given us a job shifting the chocobo shit out the stables. It's hard work. I did. It's not half what we got from the stones. But if we stick at it, we'll keep I did a let's, it. I did a let's play of it. Elden Ring's interesting. I think Elden Ring is... Well, Elden Ring, I think, is worth the praise. I think Elden Ring, objectively and subjectively as well, because it still is my opinion at the end of the day, I think Elden Ring is an amazing game. Um... If you don't like Souls-type games, then you're not going to like Elden Ring. Let me just put it out there. It doesn't matter. You know, you're not going to like it. However, if you do like that sort of play style, Elden Ring is amazing. Like, I, from... I'm not a fan of, op of open-world games, but Elden Ring has actually... is one of the very few open-world games I truly, truly love. Um, the visuals, the music... Um, the gameplay, the customization, just the freedom and just how dense and packed with points of interest Elden Ring is. Like, you can go on your horse for no longer than 5-10 seconds and something will grab your attention and then you start getting sidetracked and you sort of make your own story. You know, you, you 
you don't have a plan. Or I remember making plans and getting sidetracked that it was beautiful. And Elden Ring is definitely worth the praise. I think Elden Ring definitely is a, a, a fantastic game. Um, but again, this is what I don't understand. Okay, I'm sort of comparing apples and oranges, but how Elden Ring gets, say, 10 out of 10 and Final Fantasy 16 gets 10 out of 10, I'm just... I just don't get it. I just do not get it. I know they're not exactly the same sort of genre and game, but I, I don't know. I, I strongly, strongly disagree um, with anyone that gives this game a 10 out of 10. So far, I haven't finished it. I'm almost done with it. But so far, this game for me is an 8 out of 10. And that's been generous. That's sort of been like, OK, you know, I'm giving the story a more weighting than I usually would do. But... Definitely not a 10 out of 10. I would give Final Fantasy VII Remake a 9.5 out of 10. I thought that game was absolutely amazing. Um, but this starts off great, but too much padding. Way too much padding. You stick at it then. And Gates, I'm sorry for stealing your pass. Nah, that's all right. <laughs> I've got it back now. And all's well that ends well. Eh? You said you're trained to be a blacksmith, right? Well, I'm going to be your first customer. I'm going to save up all my gear and get you to make me a massive sword. I'll, I'll do me best. <laughs> Till then, eh? All right. We have a place on the wagon. Remember, Goots, we're mercenaries. <laughs> you hide us to protect you. But mercenaries. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, this is gonna. Plan, you're to ride all the way to Twinside. Jill and I will go with you as far as the outskirts, then find our own way in. I'll buy that stuff I need. Right. And we'll scout out the Imperial's defences. There's a square with a big bell tower right in the middle of town. If you get lost, or out goes wrong, we can meet up there. All right. Let's go. I'm sure nothing will go wrong. <laughs> oh I see and you're quite certain your father has no knowledge of Ultima I am I have no difficulty believing a sinister force has come to exert an influence on San Breck but be that as it may it is yet to claim my father for better or worse his radiance speaks his own mind Fiend works from the shadows. I confess, when first you told me of this fiend, I had my doubts, and more than a few at that. A beast that labors to plunge Valisthea into turmoil, all in pursuit of your brother. But that wound is proof enough that evil is afoot. Then I have your answer, your highness. You will join me in my fight. I cannot. Not yet. Your Highness, please. As you are aware, the Dalmechian army is at our gates. They have lost their mother crystal, and with it all hope of a negotiated withdrawal. It is but a matter of time before they invade. If Bahamut is not here to meet them, my people will be slaughtered. Though not by Hugo Kupka, thanks to Ultima's machinations. I know the fate of your people weighs heavy on your conscience. 
But if we do not put an end to Ultima's plans, they shall face a far darker fate. The chaos he would wreak would sweep all of Valisthea into the abyss. The lives of every man, woman, and child in the Twins are at stake. I believe what you say, Phoenix. But I have duties of my own, and I must discharge them. Come what may. That makes absolutely no sense. If he genuinely believes what he's saying, that everyone could be sent into abyss, why take on this lesser duty? What do you know of my blood? I know that it is wholly unworthy of the highest offices of state, which rightly belong to those of purer breeding. Alas. Your bloodline runs through the Oriflam gutter, from a whore who weighed her child's worth in gill. Have you threatened my father? <laughs> of course not. I merely whispered in his ear. That his mongrel son is plotting a rebellion. What? Sylvester listens to the words of his astrologers. And they have ears too. You have been feeding them your lies! <laughs> Should you remain loyal to Emperor Olivier, his radiance may yet crown your head with laurel, and not with tar. <sighs> Fork-tongued witch! <laughs> In consideration of your long years of service to the Empire, I shall forgive this uncharacteristic rudeness, now hurry and make ready, your Imperial Highness. Emperor Olivier expects much of you, Dion. Or should I say, of Bahamut. May your fire reduce his enemies to ash. Till all of Valisthea bows to its rightful ruler. Wow. What a manipulative cow. How he's managed to sort of not strangle her, I don't know. There is another darkness that has taken hold of Sandbrack. And until its grip is released, the flames of war shall spread ever wider, just as Ultima wishes. Forgive me. My family has caused you much grief. You are not her keeper, Phoenix. This is a matter for the Imperial household now, and as a member of that household, it falls to me to resolve it. At such time as that is done, what strength I have shall be yours. Thank you, Your Highness. Mm. Let us take to the skies together and bring a new dawn to Valisthea. I should like nothing more. Oh dear, he's alone with Terence again. Terence. My prince. Tell me true. Do you believe what I'm about to do is wrong? I... We Dragoons have but one leader, your highness. That's not his question. And we shall follow him unto the very end. Thank you. This is my decree. For their crimes against the crown, the traitorous Annabella and her usurping son shall be put to death and the empire restored. 
Oh, talk about conviction. See, this is what I want to see more of. Not, oh, can you get me some coffee, please? Or wine or whatever it is that he wants. This is what I want. Right. The Crystalline Dominion. Right. We have a look at the active time law. Um, I'm actually going to get a bit of water, so be right back. Okay. I am now hydrated. Once more. Oh, right. Very important indeed. Would have been even better if I didn't get it in the first place. But there we go. One would never guess that these people stood on the brink of war. When they're afraid, they turn to drink to forget their fears. Anything you want to forget? My sunburn. It's actually not that bad. The harbour is empty, and half the market stores too. The city may seem peaceful on the surface, but it's balanced on a knife edge. Were we to give it a nudge, it might be just the distraction we need to reach the Mother Crystal. I thought you might say that. We should send for Gav. We'll need someone to keep the fires we start from going out. And we can busy ourselves scheming until he gets here. I'll send a Stolas then. Oh dear, what's going on? Oh. Well, we just need a very big fire extinguisher. Oh, so we're actually fire in the sky, so we're actually going from rooftop to rooftop. The city's on fire. Well done, Jill. And the sky is above us. The one with the bell tower. In the middle of town, right? Guard, watchman or sentry is to be slain on sight. But spare the citizen. His Highness's orders were clear. Those were Imperial Dragoons.
Oh, I thought it was a very big treasure chest. Well, it is. Just one that cannot be opened. What in the hell is going on? Let's go and see. Right. Do we have to? I just hope he's all right. I think he's probably gonna die. Hello. I bet you Goots is gonna die. Oh dear. No. No. Yay, leveled up. There's no doubt about it. They're dragoons. What is this then? A civil war. So Dion is basically getting the dragoons to attack his own city. Interesting. I think that's what's happening because I don't really have any idea. I haven't, no. I'm a, I'm a console gamer, unfortunately. I'm a peasant. Yep, that's the whole story. Just a Dragoon unit, the end. Right, so Dion did actually organize this sort of um, right. uprising. Let's go. Which is interesting. Because I wonder who will defend them. Because he's obviously the... Um, bah um, Bahamut's dominant. We're in Grigor's 
same did you come from? There we go. I'm sure they enjoyed the a good pounding. Is that it? Lol. we go. That wasn't too bad. Well, I'm looking forward to hard mode and seeing how that will end up going. We'll have to find a way around. Oh. Oh, here we go. I wonder if the boss fight is going to be Dion, because that would be cool, or Bahamut. Oh shit, we're going to be encountering his mum as well, Annabella. Oh, that's going to be epic. I'm very much looking forward to that. Oh look, it's an Astrologer. Didn't see that in the stars, did he? Good ass pounding. Maybe you should have looked at Uranus. Right. Ho, ho, ho. 
They need better training. Better astrologers to tell them they need more training. I'm hearing sad music. Something emotional is about to happen. Could it be that Goots will die? I have to press R2. See, I can't even do that. This is hard mode. Ooh. Come on, I want to know who I'm fighting against. Oh dear. Oh. Wait, is that Bahamut? Oh dear. No, that can't be Bahamut. It must be one of the Dragoon's pets. Yes. Oh, oh. Going on. Get ready to move. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Ah! I can't see. Oh no. Oh. Whoa. No. Time for a good pounding. Oh! 
Oh, I've got a trophy. Nice. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, shit. No, 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 run. Oh. Please die. That's not what I wanted to do. Cancel! Sod. Yay. Enough. Ooh, okay. Ooh, a white worm bone. Just a regular bone. That was only a mini boss though, it wasn't the main boss. Uh, over here, Clive. Uh, He's gonna die. Right. Mini GG here. <laughs> a side there GG. I didn't know there'd be a dragon. <sighs> Alright. Let's get out of here. Oh. 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 Is that Mother Crystal's heart? What the hell is it doing up there? The helmet. Oh dear. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I think they decided that he's not friendly anymore. So, is this Dion actually consumed with rage, or is this part of his actual plan? Let me have a look at active time law. Right, Bahamut. The Warden of Light dwells within Dion Lesage, Prince of Zambrek, and the Holy Empire of the Gregorian Yeah, the icon is loved and revered by the Imperial populace until it kills everyone in the populace. Uh... Okay, so that wasn't part of the plan. We must leave. Now, Your Grace, I beg of you. This is not what he wanted. Something's happened. Forgive me, Yoda, but I must put a stop to this. Your Grace. Oh. Phoenix versus Bahama. This will be interesting. Oh dear.
That's interesting. So why is the Mother Crystal attacking him? Oh. Why was the Mother Crystal attacking him? That's interesting. Oh dear. Wait, what the hell is going on? That's a big erection right there. Okay. Oh, so that's a defense mechanism from the Mother Crystal. That's new. I'm really confused. So, uh, what do we do now then? We destroy the heart. We might come back! As soon as the flames die down, the Imperials and the Dalmex will move in. This may be our only chance. And Bahamut has gone for now. You should get as far away as he can, Goots. What? A Navy use lot in the ledge? I can't do that. If you're staying, then so am I. Oh, for goodness I, sake, just I go. everything up before I made a run for it, so if there's out you need, just ask. I won't be giving it away for free. Nan would never forgive us if I did. Thank you, good. Can we buy you a return ticket to the hideaway? Right, Goots, what have you got for us? Just let me get my stuff out. What's the big hammer? You want us to make you something? Oh. Oh. Oh, I see. Right, so that's his big hammer. Completely useless. Oh, no, it's not actually. We can make this. But do we actually want to? Mm, Anything no. else I can make for you? No, there's nothing. Oh, okay. What do I charge his magic spells? We've seen that. Oh dear. Oh, excuse me. It's been a long day. Right on, here you go. How else I can do for you? You be brave now, boy. <laughs> Oh. Right, let's speak with Jill. Drake's tail is right there, Clive. It's time to free Storm from the Crystal's curse. <laughs> yes, let's just do it. Oh, it's past time. But remember, Bahamut is still out there. And I dare say we'll be seeing him again before the night is done. And she's like, ah, my leg. Two hours side quest on getting her some like bandages for her leg. That's the sort of padding Yoshida would do. No more roads. We'll have to find our own path. Do you feel that, Clive? Ether. Just what we need. Another flood. Already There's no reason to hold back. Oh, 
Oh, don't you poke me with that little stake of yours. Uh oh, it's an R2 door. Wait, which way? Oh. No, the lich is almost dead. Hello? No. There must be a way to climb up. Um, just checking if there's any treasure chests around the area, because they're usually quite cheekily hidden. Yay! Ooh, Judgment Vault. Okay, we don't really want to use that at the moment, but... There's going to be an epic battle incoming. I'm very much looking forward to it. Oh. Phoenix! get used to some pounding before we do the main boss fight so we need to get well lubed up oh yeah the music is now heating up the game knows this is the 10 out of 10 moment This is the 10 out of 10. But I will not give in to emotion. There he is. Joshua! I'm here, brother! Clive. He can't hear you. Joshua! They're heading for the heart. And so should we. Oh 
Oh, bloody shield thingy. There we go. Right, I'm completely disorientated now. I don't know where we're meant to go. Oh, okay. I have a feeling I've missed the chest, though. Let me just... No, okay. Finally, after like a million hours of gameplay, will Clive finally meet Joshua? Find out in the next episode. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I, I want to find out in this episode. Sorry, I was just trolling. I've applied too much lube to end this episode now. Oh, fuck. I don't want to hit that. No. See, Jill's applying lube as well. She knows what's up. Right, that's where we need to go, but... Treasure chest? No. Right, there's only so much lube that we can apply. Is this the right way? Or am I backtracking? I think I'm backtracking, lol. Well, everything looks the same. I... Yes, I'm confused. I feel very disorientated right now. And there's no mini-map. I'm just going to keep heading up. I think that's probably the best way. Right. Okay, well, here we go. This is what we've been lubed up for. He'll be all right, Clive. He's a survivor. We're getting close. I wonder if we meet Annabella. Uh-oh. Oh. That's not Annabella. That's... Someone. It looks like somebody to someone is getting any closer. I don't care what it wants. Neither do I. Oh dear. Oh gosh. Oh!
Oh god, what's it doing? Oh, Bazaga? No! Whoa. Oh god. Yes. No. Whoa, press the attack. I'm pressing, I'm pressing. We have to end this right now. Oh god. Yes. Whoa. Oh my god. He's dead. That wasn't the main boss either. So that's a sort of medium GG. It's going to be Bahamut. That's going to be the main boss. Has to be. <laughs> These beasts. They're getting stronger. We can think about them later. Right now, there's only one thing we need to focus on. Lou. Well, close enough. The way to a man's heart is via lube. Right, okay. No chest? Uh. We might be able to get up through the building. It's worth a try. No, no, no. I don't think so. Oh, shh. It's you. <laughs> this is amazing. He, he tried to take him from me. Oh, my boy. Oh, you cold hearted Darling. bitch. Darling boy. Is this the child you made with the Emperor? Why, mother? Why did you betray us all? You have no right! <gasps> Answer him! We took you in, savage. Show some respect for those who raised you! <gasps> Honorable Elwyn, always thinking of his precious homeland. But what worth is a homeland in a world beset by the blight? Father did not seek to protect his country. He sought to protect his people. A leader's duty is not to protect his people. It is to protect the source of his sovereignty. 
the noble blood that runs in his family's veins. So long as this bloodline remains unbroken, what does it matter if a nation falls? One can always found another. Unlike him, I did my duty. I preserved my line. I bore a son of the noblest blood to whom the whole world might kneel. That is why I gave Rosaria to Sambrek, that I might join my line with the Lasages and birth the savior of this benighted land, blessed by both Bahamut and the Phoenix. Oh, well, she got that out of your country for a child. Why did he need another? You had Joshua. I had nothing. You were always your father's son, so very strong and bold and daring, and yet you failed to awaken. Would that Joshua had been granted a tenth of your strength? Oh, oh wow. How the nobles laughed that Elwyn's firstborn was surely the son of a concubine, and my own, not long for this world. The shame of it. The shame of being slandered by one's inferiors. How could you ever know how that feels? It should have been you. Why didn't the Phoenix choose you? She was every waking moment was spent trying to shoulder the burden that you and the Phoenix and the Duchy foisted on him. That's why I became his shield. To help bear the weight. But what did you do? You betrayed your own blood and surrendered your son to his fate! Joshua. My darling boy. I never meant to hurt him. The soldier's orders were clear. He was to be spared. Why did you survive when the only one I truly cared for died? What? Have you not looked out of the window? Joshua is here. The Phoenix lives on. He's battling Bahamut as we speak. Yay! She's dead and hopefully the kid... Oh, she's alive. Yay, family reunion! I need to get some water for this. I've been waiting many hours. And I need some sugar as well. I think some white chocolate will do. Unfortunately, not hotel chocolate. White chocolate, but... I need sugar. Mm. <laughs> Motel. <laughs> yeah. Oh. More like... Hostel chocolate, but there we go. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mmm. Just need to slowly let it melt in your mouth. Mmm. 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 I needed that burst of sugar. Let's have a look at the active time law. Annabella Lesage. A cow. Right, good. Mm, the coastline dominion. Mm. Right, here we go. Yay, death number two. I am a shield of Rosaria. And I will do my duty. What are you... Oh dear.
<laughs> and Abella like, oh, you're so strong, and just kills Olivier. <laughs> Oh no. I'm polishing the erect the erective crystal. Fuck. I wonder if you get game over if you miss that. Like, is there anyone actually alive ever missed that from? That's cool. Not gonna lie. Oh, I've learned spit flare. Clive has learned the ability split, uh, spit flare. Press R to release a massive stream of uh, light that sears anything in its path. Use L to aim. Press X at any time to cancel the attack. Spit flare 2. Extended exposure to the flare will cause enemies to become partially staggered, cancelling any initiated abilities. Maintaining the flare <gasps> for its maximum duration, meanwhile, will result in an enhanced finish explosion. Right. doing ah whoa no
Yes. That's cool. Oh, fuck that one up. Oh, that's not good. Don't do this. Giga Flare. Fuck. No. Brother. Oh dear. That was a Giga Flare. Embodying the Phoenix. Use L while holding circle. Oh my god, this is so confusing to use. It's very weird to control. Oh no. No. Your Highness, stop this! Please think of your people! Oh God. No. 
Oh my god. Too many things. Oh no, this is Hector Giga Quinter Flare. The whole universe just blows up. Oh God. Okay, good, 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 good. Oh my god. Okay. This is Giga Giga Flare. Oh shit. It's now or never, Joshua. Might be never. Uh oh no. I can't get to him. I'm gonna use my spit fair thingy. Oh, we're both doing it at the same time. Get up. Oh shit. We're, I can't aim any higher though. <laughs> God. Oh, what's he doing? Lol. Get behind me. If you're sure. I'm behind you. Oh, Terra Flare. Ooh.
Yeah. Hoo hoo hoo. Oh shit. No. Yay. Yay! Well, that was epic! Yay, we level up. I love how we get, like, basic crafting materials for defeating Bahamut. No. What's he doing to the mother crystal? <laughs> Drinking the ether. Cool. No, it's not over yet. Oh no. He's turned into some. I don't know what he's turned into. We've bonded. The lube was helpful after all. We can do it, Clive. We can. We will. Together. That's quite cool. Phoenix and Ifrit have combined to make Ifrit. <laughs> Ifrix. Super saying if it I like how that did pretty much nothing. Okay. Oh. 
Embody embodying Ifrit Risen, enhanced version of most of Ifrit's abilities are available for use as Ifrit Risen. In addition to Wildfire, Ifrit Risen also has the access to ability Light Speed, which, similar to Phoenix Shift, allows for swift approach to the target. Light Speed can be executed by pressing X. That's not confusing at all. It used to be Circle. All abilities available while in Oh, just let me play the fucking game. Ooh. See? Oh, Supernova. Great. Ooh. I don't know what's going on. No. Oh no. If there's another phase after this... <laughs> Oh no. Okay, good.
No, I missed. Oh no. Oh dear. And it still has another phase to go. See? Okay. Zeta Flare! <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> this is a Dragon Ball Z moment. No, no, you're not fooling me. There's another phase. Yes. Yeah, we heard all that jingle and stuff from before. Well, we have leveled up, so that's good. Oh, a light shard. <gasps> Hopefully this will give us uh, a new weapon. Yay. Dion. Oh, I like Dion. Oh, I don't want Dion to die. Oh wait, does that mean we're going to get Bahamut's power? I wonder what abilities he's going to have. Oh, Annabella, would you look at that? Yay, hugs. My brother, I... I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. You're alive. We both are. Nothing else matters. Still not giving this game a 10 out of 10. I never dared hope that I would see this day. I'll give this scene a 9.5 out of 10, but... Reunited at last. Jill. I love how Annabella's just standing there saying WTF. I'll just kill this annoying kid, please. Oh. This is for my father. Yeah. 
Interesting. So that... Oh well, time to spread your legs and make another royal baby. Dion. Well, she's just going to make another royal baby anyway. That's what she does. The mother crystal. It's collapsing. Right. Oh. No. Wait. Save him. I owe him a debt. Fine. <gasps> We're getting Bahamut's powers! Yay! <laughs> Did not use enough lube? I regret not, your readiness. The Dragoons answer to none but His Imperial Highness. The Council is powerless to intervene. Madness is this, Theon. Focus all efforts on extinguishing the fires around the capital. The city can wait. Don't dally, man! Go! Your readiness. By the light, Dion, have you taken leave of your senses? Call off the dragoons at once. Fear not, the populace will come to no harm at their hands. I am here to save you, Father. Save me? A creeping darkness hides in the heart of Sanbrek. It stems from your wife, the traitorous Annabella. <laughs> not another word, Dion. Father, though you may not see it, the darkness has taken hold of you. It has made you forget yourself. But I bid you remember, there was a time when you ruled not with cruelty, but with compassion. Why now do you turn your back on your people? Why now do you seek to stoke the fires of war? You too have borne witness to this change, your eminences. And you know, as well as I, who is responsible for it. A puppet now sits upon the throne, but cut his strings, and the master loses the power! What? Dion, you bear steel before your emperor? Guards! Take him! For every citizen who falls, another can be bred. For every home that burns, another can be built. Those were your words. But when the last of your citizens has fallen, and all of their homes have been reduced to ash, what will become of your empire, of its rulers, of your god? As the mother crystals crumble one by one, and the blight sweeps in to claim all that we hold dear, our people look to their emperor for protection. 
Yet he labors not to secure their futures, but to seize what is left of the twins for himself. Even if it should come at the cost of everything his loyal citizens have labored to build. Dion, you must understand. A small price to pay, is it not? You've been blessed with great power, Dion. Enough to win me the world. So go, claim Valestia for me, brother. Ooh! Oh my! And then I was like, ah! <laughs> This is a blind let's play, I promise you. Gods! Father. Poor father. How he doted on his children. That he would die to protect me was plain. It was but a matter of when. You planned this? You did well to endure so long. But you broke in the end, as I knew you would. And now Muthos approaches. Put him to the proof. I would see if he breaks. Go, Bahamut. Kin Slayer. Well, so that happened. Not again, brother. It's a long story. <laughs> He's like, I just watched the cutscene, brother. You've got to kill Annabella. I wonder what they're going to do. You cannot stay here, mother. Come. Still calling her mother? Wow. Okay. Really? Oh wow, okay. Oh. Okay, that was unexpected. He's just holding Dion. <laughs> wow. Okay. Yeah. That's very poetic, I completely agree. Very fitting. If it is consciousness that weaves your wills together. Consciousness that blurs the boundary between your own will and that of others. Then we shall set you apart once more. 
The ties that bind you shall be severed, and humanity return to its proper place. Oh. By primogenesis shall a new age of reason begin. Oh goodness. That doesn't sound very... normal. <laughs> Oh. Your Majesty. <gasps> oh wow, Benedicta. What do you mean, sometime later? Don't you want to play? It's been a long time. If that is your wish. Men, you are as meek as all the others. <laughs> uh, okay. Such feeble creatures. Oh, wow. Gifted the power of icons, yet slaves to fickle emotions which usher you. To your doom. And so you bind your fragile worlds with strands of consciousness. The wretched handiwork of a wretched people. The sons of fire were united at last, and for but a moment, their flame burned bright. See, that's kinkier. Yeah, like this. Ethos shall become our perfect vessel. And then shall the world be remade. I love this guy's accent. Not before the I'm not sure where it's from, though. Of trust, of respect, of love. Only when every strand of consciousness is cut away, may Muthos return to our side. By primogenesis shall all be undone. Mankind shall be rid of his wretchedness and Muthos of his will. But while he yet clings to it, he has the power to forge bonds anew. And so we bid you. Find Muthos and sever everyone. To destroy that which has no physical form. You ask the impossible. There is nothing your black blade cannot cut, Odin. We shall unite with Muthos and bring forth a new world. So long as our vessel remains unclaimed by humanity. It shall be done, Master. My will is yours. Wait, who's this? <laughs> That's someone new. Mother. Mother? What sort of freakish game is this? I'm going to give it a 1 out of 10. I don't know what's going on. Oh, I think the game's frozen. No, it's my controller that needed to be reactivated, lol. Um, <laughs> um, oh wow, okay. I guess we're going back to the hideaway. My goodness. Oh, well, I always said the story was fantastic. Certainly picking up. Well, has picked up. Uh, I should get going soon, but 
I need to have a look at Bahamut's abilities first, because that's the most important thing. How is your brother? Asleep since I returned from the Dominion. Taya says he should be back on his feet soon enough. For a while, at least. She discovered something on his chest. A swelling circled in stone. The curse. For every mountain we climb, another arises up to greet us, doesn't it? It's never ending. Even the sky seems to have grown tired of it all. Well, well, well. Ooh. Yay, the power of light. Clive, Clive has claimed a portion of the icon... Icon Bahamut's essence. Attuning with Bahamut not only changes the elemental aspect of Clive's magic spells, but also allows that to such as the impulse, which creates multiple spheres of light that pursue a target, dealing it continuous damage. Bahamut's feet. Use Bahamut's iconic feet, wings of light, to begin Mega Flare, <gasps> an immensely powerful spell that showers enemies with the luge of Siren Knight. The longer the spell is <laughs> if I disturb Joshua. Well, well, well. Oh gosh, everything's updated. See what Otto has to say. Ooh. 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 Right, we'll look at all this later, but right now I need to Ooh, I need to have a look at my new abilities. Um right, so Right, gear and icons. Okay. So we're getting two more then if I look at the circle. So I guess Shiva is not the next one. Right, so we've got satellites. Some of multiple other attack anyone which kind of uses magic. Oh, this is nice. Oh, I'm definitely going to try this. That's cool. What's this? Flare breath. Breathe uh, forth a plume of light expected flame that deals continuous damage. Oh, yes. Right, we don't want to master it. What's this then? Wings of light. Yep. Oh, okay. Summon multiple spheres of light. Deal continuous damage. Oh, that's actually really cool. Giga Flare. So, I've still got so many points. I'm, I need to play around with these abilities, but before I do, um, let's just go to the blacksmith. What do I owe the honor? See if we can make something what new, and we can. We can make the bright burn. Ooh. Right, let's get this one. It last you a good while. Oh, might as well make this. Not bad, if I do say so myself. Does the sword look good? It does actually look good. Right, so that's that done. Then we need to speak with Thingamajig Bob, Karen. Clive. Go on then. Okay, I don't think she's really got anything. No, I think we're fine. There's some orchestrian scrolls, but I don't particularly want it. Um, oh, last elixir. Upon KO, automatically restores all HP, fills limit gauge, and increases attack power by 10 seconds. Oh, wow. 20,000 gil, though, for one use, but I guess we've, we'll probably need it for hard mode or something. I don't think Finished, we need it now. Are you? Um, 
Okay, so... Oh, there's a lot of new hunts as well. But I, I want to... Um, I want to replace Titan with Bahamut. And what's Impulse? Summon multiple spheres of light upon throwing them. An enemy deal it continuous damage. So we'll try Impulse and... Mm, satellite maybe? I might go with Flare Breath. Let's try both of these and we can practice. Right, let's practice a little bit. I just want to try out the new Bahamut sort of thing and synergies. Oh, my sword looks nice. Right. Oh, that's Mega Flare. That's kind of slow. Oh, you can actually charge it up multiple levels. I mean, yes, it looks really cool. But there might... Wings of Light, level 2. Is there a fast way to charge it? Not sure about that. Okay, I'm gonna try some combo. Let's try this combo. Yeah, that actually works because it triggers. Okay, you can stop now, Clive. Clive? <laughs> oh, I like this. I like Impulse a lot. Wonder if I can. Oh, that's that is cool. I don't know if I can trigger it multiple times. Okay. Um can we not change it? Okay, hold on. try satellite. How do I change my abilities from here though? Because I don't think I can. Uh, I can change that, but I can't change my bit. Oh no, I can. Okay, I don't know why I wasn't doing it before. Let's try satellite and see how that is. Okay, it doesn't trigger with that. Doesn't trigger with that here either. Okay, so you have to sort of like... I see. I'm not sure what to think of it.
Okay, so it seems that you can... Okay, so it seems to launch them. Interesting. See, I prefer this combo. I don't like Mega Flare, it just takes way too long to charge. Okay, I think I sort of know what abilities I like and sort of combos. I think I'm going to stick with Flare Breath and the, not the Satellite. Although I do like the satellite. How does one exit? Okay. Okay. So, I think... I think I'm going to go with... I'm going to keep this. I'm going to have to start mixing and matching because I really like Lightning Rod. I'm not really sure about... I like Pile Drive or Rising Flames. So I'm going to have to start thinking about some combos here. Um, right, get rid of Satellite and replace it with Impulse. Okay, so I think I'm going to have... What abilities go well with... Um, I'm going to have to start thinking about this, because I've got a lot of points. I might get like a powerful AoE ability actually, now that I think about it. So I think I do need that. To a single target. Don't really want that. Might get Giga Flare. Decisions, decisions. Um, I think I might get Phoenix, though, just because it restores HP. Um, but that's more AoE-based, whereas I think this is like more single-target-based. Um, I think this is good for... Yeah, I'm going to... What does Mastery do? Allows a summon to any icon, okay. Um, I think I'm going to... I'll play around with these things, I think, off-stream before the next episode. Um, but for now, I want to check out like the new quests and stuff before I go. Because I'm getting quite sleepy. It's been a long day. Um, a good day, but I'm just going to get myself sorted and then go to bed, actually. <laughs> right, let's not carry on with the main story. Let's speak to Nectar. Right, how many new hunts have we got? Okay, quite a few. So we've got the S rank, which I don't know where it is. We've got a B rank. Um, we've got an A rank. And we've got another S rank. So I should be—I should do these S ranks, actually. Um, let's see if we get any new rewards from Desiree. Welcome to the Patron's Whisper. Come to claim your just desserts. High Cleric's Medallion. You earned this. I did. 
Um, ability points. Amber. Okay. Out there, Sid. Let's have a look at the Clerics and Valiant, although it's obviously got to do with... Uh, uh, what do you call it? Healing, but yeah, increases healing potency of potions by 25%. Cool. Um, but we don't want that at the moment. I think these are all things for hard mode. Yeah, so I think what I'm going to do off stream is start mastering some abilities and sort of figuring out um, some things. So I'm actually going to have uh, Flames of Rebirth here because I think that's a nice one for like trash mobs for AoE. That's fine. I'm going to replace um, Pile Drive. So I'm not sure what I want to replace it with. Um, you know what? I'll try and think of something now. Um, I mean, I could replace it with Giga Flare. Uh, I might replace it with Giga Flare. I don't particularly like any of Garuda's stuff. You know what? Let's... Get Giga Flare. No, we're 600 points short. Poop. Um, I could replace it with Satellite, but the thing is I don't actually use magic that much. That's the problem. Hmm... You know what? I'm going to try something stupid. Let's do it. Let's uh, let's put Satellite here. So we've got three Bahamut abilities. We've got Flames of Rebirth. Yeah, I, th I think let's let's try that. It will spice things up anyway. Will, you know, I've been using the same build for like many hours. But Hazy, thank you very much. I've got to go as well. Great to see you as always. Um, have fun in your next stream. <clears throat> Unfortunately, I'm going to be asleep. Um, so <laughs> enjoy, and I will hopefully see you soon. And that goes to everyone else watching this episode. Um, there is no one else at the moment, but if you're watching the YouTube recording, um, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.